we have been asked to check out another Maxor video. This time it's not Genshin. We're actually going to be watching the incorrect summary of Elden Ring, the moon and the stars. So I have played Elden Ring a bit. Um, super fun, super aggravating, but it's all up to your own skill. And my skill is awful, but try my best to understand the story of it. So I think I can get a good grasp of um, what he's going to be saying in this video, at least in a comedic value. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Minecraft Let's Play. I like to call it. Boomer Band is a fun new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. <laughs> developed by Epic Games director Hydro Tacos Miyazaki. With Hydro Tacos? Reflecting pain upon the Gaijin. In this adventure, you play as the famous Vidale Games protagonist Elden John as he undergoes <laughs> many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. This game True. is a little difficult. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. As such, many Actually. challenges await the play. And yeah. most of it is the work of Satan, as is oh, I hated those hands. Japanese. Spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than Africa, we will find many <laughs> secrets, uncover many attractions, and slay the entire cast of the Bible. I've always liked that book. My favorite part was the genocide. <laughs> yep. Oh, I hated that one. That was easy, but I just suck. <laughs> yeah. Help me. So we boot up the game and uh oh uh, silly me. I forgot to unplug the keyboard so my controller can work. Oh I'm yeah. Free to make my character. Our journey begins inside of the Microsoft Some PowerPoint, sort of the quality of which being so dubious that it resurrects you from the dead. Wake the fuck <laughs> up, Samurai. Of course, this is a FromSoft game, so Spider-Man is here to so smash yeah. the fuck back. Yep. To our tutorial, which is a whole, a whole lot of fun. You know, just making friends, influencing people, and providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life. And with no. that problem sorted, it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Limgrave, land of trees, laborious bears upon the trees, and this white person. Honest, if you're lost, how about you start by finding some bitches? <laughs> Stupid weirdo wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your weird helmet your mama gave you? Look, what I'm trying to say is, you're fit is mid and you get zero bitches <laughs> before I got to look at those stank ass vans again I was waiting for that one as per the words of our friendly associate we proceed towards the castle in search of some bitches in dark soul <laughs> we sought after the dark soul and in bloodborne we tried to escape britain but for elden ring our objective is to get the hose this is a game mechanic you cannot level up until you get a girl boss so with nothing else to do i guess we'll have to fight this tutorial boss yeah i did the same thing I, uh, <laughs> this tutorial is on how to flee in fear and uh, use geometry. Proceeding to the next batch of enemies, we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Noodle, at which point they form a violence committee. Huh? <laughs> That's what I should say. Hmm. Try finger. But hold up, bitch. What the fuck? My name is Melatonin. And if I may acquire, <laughs> sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style so that I may make him goated with the sauce. Okay. No cap. All we have to do now is kill every demigod no on cap. the planet. Everyone? I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the great <laughs> queen of Ohio. Who pissed off God so badly that he left the oh, fucking yeah. universe. Now her power, the Amazon gift card, is shattered. And her athletic scions are holding a contest to see. You can die the least. So God comes back when I kill them. No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces of evil. Worth. We've all claim the shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after countless oh, uh, yeah. weekends at university, the tarnished warriors are called upon to rise from their tilted towers and achieve one final victory royale. Jake Paul, bastard of the Badlands, the ever wet skelly sleeper, the crazy car car consumer, and least of all, you tarnished warrior. Is there like knocked out? Great, I'll send you to my dimensional pocket. I see. Oh yeah, the round table. The metaverse. Welcome to the round table hold, a place to rest, make purchases, and converse with the homeless. Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here now. 
I'm in hell. Now, as for our comprehensible friends, we could begin with the blacksmith, but uh, he's a little busy right now. So that only leaves one more person, Fia, the deathbed companion, unique among <laughs> all women, including my mother, for offering to hug me. Oh. Of course, I do accept for gameplay reasons, but what I wasn't aware of was that this one action permanently debuffed my health. And yeah, I didn't know that at first. For the entire game, the effect looks like this. And with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction, so it's time to head back. You'd think it would have helped Jesus you. Jesus Christ. To Stormvale Castle, where we can find the first demigod on our list of all people. <laughs> our approach begins can I say? through the gate. Our approach begins with a battle against the lag beast. But honestly, the I lag the beast? Pretty easy. Gangster edition. All right. Fi finally a cutscene. Foul tarnished. God damn it. In search <laughs> of the hose. Unfortunately, Mars the fell women. That sounds like a you problem, Chief. I am also homophobic. Oh no. And you are looking pretty gay right now. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Maxor. Welcome to the first boss. Sir. Sure. Yeah, he's a little bit uh dumb. Margaret Thatcher is a very strong, very agile, and very interesting boss. Essentially, his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come <laughs> back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass. No, we, we get, get your uh, companion. Attacks, crazy combos, and eventually the Let him do it. On, just like the real Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So I think I'm uh I'm gonna uh I'm gonna take the hint and leave. Fortunately for us, young Sheldon Ring is a game <laughs> with all kinds of activities to prepare and unwind you know like killing the fucking dragon which Ooh, for shoot. some reason is easier just not too much easier yeah eh, yeah for the next leg of our journey the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself <laughs> loser to baby in the woods. that way he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and uh whatever that is greetings traveler i am the pitbull of the woods uh, have you seen any <laughs> nearby? why are you asking me that no reason legend has it that at the edge of these woods there's what's a that song the tastiest children okay go there traveler and i will kill the infants of your choice Okay, this might seem bad, but I know a good deal when I see one. Unfortunately, I am blind. Hey oh. guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers <laughs> don't play around. So to keep things short, Smurfed. this forest is watched over by the spirit of a gentle stag, and my immediate impulse is to kill it. This necessitates lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove, or more accurately, sprinting between them while enduring the trials of free acupuncture meets Markiplier jump. Free acupuncture. Since I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and a uh, Mr. Krabs. Yeah. So after lighting the mm -hmm. fires at the expense of my life we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit cave and as it turns out bambi is back from the woods and they have <laughs> that's messed up but accurate i uh, like this fight he shows me how bad i am at the video game and uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2006 Ooh. overall it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals <laughs> 10 out of you don't even get anything Jesus. from killing him, just the guilt. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave Quebec. to the Weeping Peninsula, called as such for its tendency to rain and also the race war. But before we get into that, we've got a few tasks to do, just like Among Us. <laughs> These include fighting the sapient tree, tree. covering chests that accidentally teleport me to the end of the game, and also the oh, uh, what? bell, which may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. It even contains the rarest of all loot, a woman who tells us the tale of <laughs> Castle Morn, a fortress that made the grievous mistake of permitting Fur Fest 2022 in their local Hilton. Except these are not costumes. My brother in Christ, they are misbegotten Chimera, and you're going to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war, and now they're sending me to the race war. Pit. Fortunately, just what like is with them in the race war? Life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented war crimes yet. I uh, like this level, actually. It's pretty short, just like this video. My favorite detail is that they gave crack to an orangutan. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're climbing back into Harambe's oh cage and there is no gun. You know, when he isn't converting my bones to sand, this fight is actually easy. Mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But <laughs> even still, I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like this fight, I will not face the consequences. Enjoy this while you can, because we... 
fought because we've got oh. a few more people to talk to, such as D, a man who gives us a fair warning about the dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks, as well as oh, to wait, the sentient uh, jar, friend? which you may find strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts. So after quelling his, our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to Jar Jar Binks. to an industrious land known as Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems like we're going a little bit off the beaten path with this one, but I'm pretty confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? Oh, it's bad. What the fuck is that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go back to the castle. This time, I, I think I'll walk all the way back to Margit. Oh! Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on oh, this yeah. episode, Margit is still hard and a bit distrustful. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margit, more like Marge Simpson. Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. And teammates on the patience. But most importantly, this fight requires experience. Experience gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians to squeeze out <laughs> the narrowest of victories. Just to watch out for the hammer. Really there glad we could beat the first boss up uh, nine minutes into the video. Welcome everyone to Stormfall oh, Castle. Oh gosh! The, of the first demigod, Godric the Garfted, and if <laughs> I can't get to him in twenty minutes, the lasagna is free. Stormvale is a complex, multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. Don't so fall instead, off. Instead, we take the side route across the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese oh, chemical factory. So yep. after cracking open a cold one with the boys, we ascend <laughs> the political compass until I have authority over life and death, which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds. And uh, I didn't more birds. The Irish birds, Colonel. I'm trying to sneak around, but the clamp of my ass cheeks keeps alerting me. <laughs> oh, Alright, it looks like we're finally making some progress. All we have to do now is get through the- Run uh, right past him. He's quite the, uh, handyman. He knows how to work with his hands. You could say he's quite the handful. Better use this door to, uh, keep him at arm's length. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on the Big Bang Jesus. Sundays on NBC. I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. After all, it was a Monday, <laughs> and I hate Mondays. <laughs> Pizza delivery for a uh, Garfield? It's called lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could use a bit of a hand, you know, with making the pizzas. Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know what I've gone through to make that joke? In this battle <clears throat> against Godric the Minecrafted, we put our Jesus. patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking Massgrave Angelion straight into the housing market. Much I like hated this one. Cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our Luigi 1987 and then sewed the children therein to his wacky animatronic suit. They call him William what? Grafton. But besides that, his coordination is subpar since he has to migrate a mosh pit to attack you and it's <laughs> quite excessive. Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means you have to pay attention to his arm carefully, and that's pretty difficult Very... he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm fucking <laughs> it up and it's pretty hard to keep track of him. He seems to morph around Google when I... Maps. So we fight him slowly and with attrition, like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and dying until eventually reaching the, uh... the, uh... Oh. Yep. Oh, God. I guess he didn't need a hand. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. To overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a bad dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's The Skyrim. <laughs> Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want. Welcome to phase two, bitch. Yeah, that, I was not happy. That sucked. Ooh, this is the best nice. game ever made. Harry Potter and Audacity. <laughs> The round table hold, my favorite location. There's really nothing else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking of which, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh, God. It is I, the lore man. Okay, do you know what the lore man? My IQ is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know? True. Ranala of a full moon resides. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's <laughs> talk to, uh... Uh, fingers. This is worse. Let's uh come back to that eventually. Oh, 
uh, I guess I'm stuck here. Fuck. Did he go to the multiplayer thing? Nah. The first demigod out of six and a half. I'm sure his subjects will remember him fondly. Remember all those oh, yeah. adventures we had together, all those places we've been. That was uh 10% of the map. I'll probably finish these videos in a nursing home. This is the <laughs> rest of the game, and wow. I better call Gandalf for that shit because we've got a ways to walk. Welcome everyone to Ligma yes. of the Lakes, the largest swamp that Miyazaki was allowed to build. Thirty thousand men have already died, and on today's episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents, Ranala of the Red Lobster, Queen of Caria, for at least the next 10 minutes, resides in the magical academy of Malaysia Lucario. And to get there, we need to head across a biological minefield known informally as the Crustacean Nation. It is here that we face yeah. our greatest challenge. The Takes a long time. I'm starting to think that PETA has a, has a point. So anyways, oh. we head through the gauntlet, past the Octo Skeddy, and get completely sidetracked until I end up in fucking Nipton. But uh, we're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to hang out. Just God, know that you can find it, this man. area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading through Jeez. the ruins of my marriage and killing the white people, we make it to the Hogwarts only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal. And next to it lies <laughs> a map which leads straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle Gotta buy a dragon. Easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This game has a lot of dragons in it so i'm going to keep a count <laughs> just know that it doesn't get easier Welcome to literally just so Harry Potter. We've broken into magical racism land. It's time to enact our revenge upon Chris Angel Mind Freak in one of the most pretty good-ish dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies such as the Spastic Child. This oh man yeah, three times uh. in a row, and a homeless guy who helps me extract the blood from my body. Raging Lucario oh. is a fa <laughs> Raging Lucario is a fairly what? linear dungeon with some rather unusual architecture. Now I'm no interior designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyways, we drive past Aww. Ohio as quickly as possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only one in the entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. And for today's lecture, <laughs> what is the dog? It's the dog, dude. It's freaking destroying you. That's what he's doing. The answer is stabbing me. This is one hanging speederino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this chonking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive which destroyed this video. The last minute of footage was reconstructed from memory. But besides that, oh, his moveset wow. is varied and intense, requiring Dang. expert evasion or just a lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's just covered in charm. Chocolate. Wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. So before we <laughs> take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I yeah. acquire some fat drip so I may no longer appear fatherless. Now on our There's no close to teleport. That can't be raided, we head up the stairs to experience bowling in VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become sidetracked again as I am teleported straight to the turtle pope who wants to sell me things. His existence isn't explained and I don't want it to be. Only horror lurks behind that stair. Let's uh, move on to something less disturbing. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I can't believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. I said less disturbing. Oh, yeah. Cousin, welcome to episode 391 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This is a preschool, man. Today we're going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oh, oh boy. Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughter Fest. One and all across. Oh. So that's right. This is an American school after all. And in this battle, we're oh, going to be teaching these gosh. kids the harsh realities of the hood. Now, I know what you're going to say, and hopefully it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy. Like taking candy from a baby. If I thought so. Still beating heart. This is actually in fact, all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out, at which point Ranala basically lets you go to town. The reason for this is that we aren't fighting a demigod. This is the demigod's ex-wife, who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. To some extent, Whoa. I can understand, but goddamn that child support. Kind of feel like I'm doing him a favor. <laughs> Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Eat That Pussy 445. And about like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn hard. Uh... That I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg has been totally numb. And Let's, uh, I guess there's a phase two. Sure is. Wow. Welcome 
to the real fight, it's still easy for Dark yeah. Sus, which means the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Sus Gwendolyn if he slash them were a good boss, using a vast <laughs> array of magic, other bosses, and the power of Goku to socially literally other bosses from your neck. But even still, it's very manageable if you have any semblance of patience. My editing might tell you something about how I did. Seventy percent of this fight is waiting for my turn. It's like I'm trying to stab Julius <laughs> Caesar. Make sure you like, comment, God and damn subscribe it. so we can take this video to the moon. So after sufficient damage is dealt, we find out that her second phase has a second phase and its other bosses, including, of course, this her second phase, second phase, yeah. Straight up pack of wolves. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is oh a visual my and game feast, and by that I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, so let's do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, there's the camera. Chapter 5. You're going to Brazil. This place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, where do Red I go lobster. next? Caleb. What? You must continue your adventure in Caleb. Uh, Is that a Indiana? Problem? No, not at all. There, there's nothing wrong with Caleb. Hey guys, needs McTherapy here. Today we're going to be playing in Needs McTherapy. Ugh. Because it is now it's right now? Mexico? German bedtime stories. Who can forget such legendary tales as Der Vogel, Der Bockpfeife and Gesicht, and most terrifying of all, Das Kinderschredder. <laughs> I'm sorry if you speak German, by the way. That's gotta be my least favorite disability. And on today's episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent, we was that? That's a plain insult. Party where the sleep is permanent, all for a chance to face off against the third day on my <laughs> that movie. Penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon, captain of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Main castle where every year he throws a party to see who can keep the, <laughs> the longest the price of admission is just up getting anywhere near him because sometimes life is just a bulgarian and you are an unstolen car so we ride oh my in goodness some direction, encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of god <laughs> and locking myself in the cum dungeon the other kids laughed at me they called me jizzy johnson but now it is i who is laughing at them pumped up kicks Oh cool, it's a it's another dragon, and this one yep. is a quite the special encounter because we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything, otherwise he uh decouples his existence. Hey, what's up guys? Oh so, no. Today we're gonna be gaming on the moon because that's what this shit feels like. In fact, mm. I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow, and I filled <laughs> it with, you guessed it, an obscene quantity of dragons. Because truly we have not fought enough of them. Jeez, I don't want to be here anymore. Let's put this in the 33. box. So far, we've seen a lot of traumatizing things, enough to give half of all American politicians cardiac arrest, but I've been saving the best for last, and by best, I mean the most evil game design ever conceptualized. The Swallow oh. of Aeonia lies just within the center of Caelid and contains enough aids to make Ronald Reagan sweat. This region, <laughs> and pretty much all of Caelid, but mostly this fucking abomination, is infested with scarlet abomination. Which is like poison if it was made of radium, and get this, it's spreading. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation, because an NPC just invades you. In the middle of the swamp, it's like I can hear the dulcet tones of the game director laughing at me. For your crimes, I am sending you to the moon. To the this moon. This place is filled with all kinds of new and interesting ways to die. And my favorite lies at the center of the swamp, where we can find Commander O'Neill and his Bostonian Kennedy Mafia. Surprisingly enough, this is the Ooh, only see that, one. that can't kill me. His moveset is so simple, it's Amish accessible. You could build a barn around him in the time it takes for him <laughs> to do damage. Maybe this boss would be better with a second phase, one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes me until I'm gravel. But you know, that's lightning just cock. a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Also, he up drops his ketamine needle, which I will now put to very good use. You're a horse, right? We're in a red main castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaelin is the actual level. Do you even know how <laughs> many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you're oh a big fan of gosh. Dogs, such as life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the Festival of Ramadan. There are two attendants in total, and uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just passionate about my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find those children I saw? Talked about. Welcome, one and all, cost to Child Slaughter Fest. Oh, yeah, no. sure did. Shame. You know what? Maybe the jar will be a bit up. Mr. Cotter, jumpings. Mr. Cotter, puzzle seven. 
Okay, never mind. So in a stroke of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via mostly sane. Mind that Radon is not here. Technically, you see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. No! His consciousness has been gone for several hundred years due to the demigod Molania, who is the Blade of Mikola, by the way. But that is a story for later. Essentially, his mind was eaten by the Scarlet Rot, but this <laughs> man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very willed smithridly. Let's, uh, go see oh, the Smith. mercy killing. And, uh, why is he so far away? Are those summon signs? Dang. Welcome everyone to the open world RPG where I roleplay <laughs> as the victim and today we're doing one of the best fights in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big boss, absolute unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. But you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon and if they die then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. I have essentially oh. converted the game into an RTS and gotta fight Raid Boss Radon in World of Employee Harassment. <laughs> now you can't oh. him alone as a Real gamer. But why would you? This is a goddamn festival, and I will not be having sex by myself. Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my on the Kennedy. internet and firing a frankly suspicious amount of arrows from God. If you want to exercise Jeez. the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attacks swing wider than American elections and hit harder than on a semi. Now, you may have already noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's like I'm looking at Chiquale Onale. This is because in addition what? to being built like a steel mill, Radon has the power to defy gravity, which constantly gets him into fights with solar bodies. This man is skateboarding what is this boss? the stars while killing everyone he comes into contact with, and he does it from the hospice. Radon is an absolute god among chads, and this fight's intensity lives up to that and then some. And that is just phase one. Phase two starts when he, um... Uh jumps into the upper atmosphere. Oh, oh, okay. There's a long gap, too. This is like such BS. We're done. Jesus Christ, he is a thick one. Oh god, I think my Zodiac just killed itself. This is sure <laughs> to negatively affect the trout population. Won't someone please think about the economy? Well, that was hilarious, as always, from Maxor. Um, that one was, like, really funny to me, because I actually did play a bit of Elden Ring. I didn't finish, like, everything, so there were some bosses I didn't know about, but it was good to have been through it and experience it and then see what he had to say about it um with this incorrect um things about the game but yeah honestly just there's so many things that happen so fast his editing style is like always so rapid that some things i'm pretty sure i missed but for, for the most part the <laughs> this type of humor is like ridiculous like uh, very over the top and sometimes kind of like serious some jokes are like funny because it's true um and yeah, and, and some things were just like a little much. <laughs> some things, certain things, um, political things are in there too, you know, as usual. And um, yeah, just a very funny video once again. This was a very good one. Um, fantastic game, but my goodness, yeah, he, he, for this being an incorrect summary of it, he honestly got a lot of things right about it. <laughs> but. That'll do it for me. Uh, if there's any other videos you guys want me to see, always let me know in the comments. Let me know. And uh, yeah, that will do it for me. I will catch you guys in the next one.